past the February the 14th meeting, uh, which is a very important meeting, obviously, as we discuss the conversations here about Michael Flynn. When the president asked you uh, about, he hopes that you would let this go, and the, the conversation back and forth about him being a good guy. After that time, did the president ever bring up anything about Michael Flynn again to you? You had multiple other conversations you have documented with the president. No, I don't remember him ever bringing it up again. Did any member of the White House staff ever come to you and talk to you about letting go of the Michael Flynn case or dropping it or anything referring to that? No, nope. Did the director of national intelligence come to you and talk to you about that? No. Did anyone from the attorney general's office, the Department of Justice, ask you about that? No. Uh, did the head of NSA talk to you about that? No. The, the key aspect here is if, if this seems to be something the president's trying to get you to drop it, this seems like a pretty light touch to drop it, to bring it up at that moment, the day after he had just fired Flynn, to come back in and say, I hope we can let this go, but then it never reappears again. Did, did it slow down your investigation or any investigation that may or may not be occurring with Michael Flynn? No, although I don't know there are any manifestations, outward manifestations of the investigation between February 14th and when I was fired. So I, I don't know that the president would have any way of knowing whether it was effective or not. Okay. 